right, bell called the Bright Man Cooking. You can like, share, subscribe, and thumbs up. And for you today, guys, I'm gonna make a vegetarian vegetable. Curry veg, let me have curry veg for you guys. Simple curry veg for all those. And for my curry veg today, guys, these are all the awesome ingredients I'm working with today, guys. I got some carrot, I cut in large chunks. As you can see, some cabbage also. Right over here, I got some sweet peppers, red, yellow, and green. Cut in large chunks also, guys. As you can see, my onions, my green onion, my potato, cut in large slice, my scotch white pepper, my thyme, my garlic, my oil, my salt, my complete season, my onion, my black pepper, and I'm using some pinto peas in coconut milk, and I'm using a Jamaican curry. And these are all you need to make a curry vegetable, guys. So I'm gonna jump straight into it. First, add some oil inside the pot. Then I add my onions. I always have a fire and no heat because you don't want your onion to burn. And then I'm gonna add my garlic. See, my garlic nicely chopped, and that's all you need. You don't want your garlic to burn also, that's it. very important like I said before. You just fire and no eat. You just saute in your garlic and onions. Now I add my curry. It's very important to burn your curry because sometimes the curry burn your stomach and stuff like that. And you want that nice color looking for when you burn your curry. So I'm burning your curry a little bit of oil and salt before I see. And this is how you make curry veg. This is how you start off your curry veg. This is the main part of your curry veg, the curry. Burn the curry to get a nice color, a nice flavor. Yeah. So what I did, I had less oil inside the pot because I didn't want it to be too greasy. Or you can add oil if you need it. You add some more, just like this. And it's a very famous recipe, guys, for persons who don't like meat and they like curry, but they do, they want they do not want a curry chicken, or they do not want a curry goat or something. They do want they do not want that. They just want some curry veg. So this is what you can do when you're making your curry veg. And this recipe is also good for vegan also. Look at it, guys. Yes, as you can see now guys, what I'm going to do now, I had my carrot inside. Same thing, same procedure, add the carrot inside, you stir it, you see the saute. Then, I add my potatoes. Real being why I had the carrot and the potatoes first, because these are the ones that take longer to cook. And you want them to tenderize. You want to be crunchy, not to overcook, or you want to be crunchy. Now, I add some water inside. When you're making your curry veg, you're slowly cooking your vegetables. You don't want them to cook out, right out, and look properly. As you can see now, it's boiling up. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my pinto peas. And the pinto peas I'm using, as I said, is in coconut milk. So that will give a nice flavor. You can add any of our peas you want to add inside, but I'm using coconut, coconut milk with pinto peas. Now, I can add my cabbage inside. Cabbage is also hard to cook also, that's the reason I'm, I'm adding everything step by step. So that way you can get the consistency that you're looking for making your curry veg. Now I'm adding some complete season. You had the taste, not too much, just add just to give it a flavor. Now I'm adding some black pepper also. Maybe two one tablespoon each. And now I'm adding some onion powder. Although I had onion, onion before, but now I'm adding onion powder. You know you want to eat that curry veg on more flavor, you're not using the meat. So you want your curry taste very nice. And very important, your salt. So you don't want too much, just add to taste. As you can see, it's boiling up. Everything's looking lovely and nice. It just give it a stir. And it's getting there, guys. And this is a very, very, very nice recipe, guys. Whereas if you're a vegan, yeah, this is very nice also. Vegetarian, if you're nice, very, very nice also. Now I'm adding my peppers. Reason being, why I had my peppers last? Because I want a nice color. You don't want the pepper to cook right out and the pale and you don't see that nice. Much as they cook in the curry veg, you want it to look appealing. That's the reason I had my peppers last. Yes, guys, now I'm not really a fan of pepper like that. So what I did, 
I did not cut the pepper up, I just drop it inside the pot just to get a little flavor of the pepper. And I curry it. Well, if you're a person who likes pepper, you can cut it up also and throw it inside. Now, I'm adding my green onions. As I said before, the reason why I had green onions last because you want a nice color to show those green onions. You don't want it to fade out and stuff like that. Don't worry about those, those times inside. I soon get them, I soon pick them right out. Then I add some more water because if you curry veg, you want to have some more liquid and you make it reduce down to get a nice thickness that you're looking for. And if you cannot wait, you can add some corn salt if you like. But this is how it look. When it's finished, look at it guys, very lovely and nice. It's a nice curry veg guys, very very nice curry veg guys. You can try it, very vegan, no meat inside. This is how you make a nice lovely curry veg guys. I'm gonna cover it for a couple minutes, boom, voila, look at it guys. My nice amazing curry veg. Simple and easy, basic step. Look at it, look at it, not too thick. Not too thin, lovely and nice. And you can go with rice, you can go with anything, you can eat just like that. This is a nice, famous curry veg, guys. And I'm happy to share a recipe with you guys anytime. As you can see right now, I'm gonna plate it right now. Look at it, guys, look at it. Mmm, lovely and nice. My nice, amazing curry veg, guys. Simple and easy. Simple and easy, guys. Simple and easy. This way, make a simple and easy curry veg, guys. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and thumbs up, guys. And thank you guys for watching, guys. And this is where we make a nice, amazing curry veg by Chef Bradley. Just put some garnish, that's it. A little time, and had my pepper on, on top. Boom. Nice to go. My nice, amazing curry veg. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Scotch bunny pepper, hot, hot. A nice, amazing curry veg. Look at it, look at it, guys, look at it. See, that's gonna make a simple, amazing curry veg.